The movement pattern that we're covering in this video is your pull. The pull is actually the number one neglected movement pattern. Essentially, all you're doing is trying to pull something towards your center. You can do this overhead or vertically, and we find this all the time in our daily life. You might be pulling a very heavy door open, or you might even be pulling a dog on a leash if it's trying to yank you. The muscles that we utilize in the pull pattern are all the muscles of the back. We use the shoulders, the large muscles of the back, and the accessory tiny muscles in our arms as well. But pull is primarily a back exercise. In this strength program, you're gonna find a ton of pulling patterns, like bent over rows, reverse flies, even some banded exercises to help you build strength in your back. Now I'm gonna show you some cues and common mistakes that you'll find with the pull pattern. The biggest mistake that we make is letting the shoulders shrug up. We actually wanna keep the integrity of our shoulders and pull them away from our ears. Another thing that's super common is using too much arms in your pull. Yes, we're technically still using our arms to pull, but like I said in the beginning of this session, pull is primarily a back exercise. And believe it or not, our biggest muscle on our upper body is our lats. So our lats are what we're gonna use when we're doing pulling exercises. So it's very common when we're pulling on the weight to think just arms, but we wanna initiate that movement with our back. And here's another cue that's useful for you. Start the movement with your shoulder blades. At first, it's a little bit confusing, but we actually wanna set our shoulder blades first before pulling on a weight. Think about trying to get your elbows into your pockets. This is gonna help you not overreach into that pulling motion. A lot of times we think that when we're trying to pull on a weight, we're trying to go as high as we can with the elbows. We actually want to maintain that integrity in our scapula, and this is going to help by thinking about trying to get your elbows down and back. We want to also have a neutral spine. So if I were pulling on a weight, I don't want to be overly extended or overly flexed. Just like the previous skill session, you want to maintain that integrity in your spine and try to find your neutral position. Same thing applies to your abs. We don't want to have relaxed abs. You want to maintain that integrity in your core and really focus on maintaining a sturdy trunk throughout your exercises. Throughout the first two weeks of this program, we're going to show you drills to help you improve on your pulling. Here's the first one. We're going to do wall angels. So I'm gonna step about a foot in front of the wall. I'm gonna place my hips on the wall and as much of your back as possible. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna pull my elbows down towards my pockets and I'm gonna reach all the way up with my arms. The goal is to maintain my whole forearm on the wall the entire time, including my elbows and the back of my hand. This is not only going to help you build more awareness with your back muscles, but this is gonna help you with your range of motion in your shoulders as well. This second drill is going to teach you how to use your lats, which are that biggest muscle on our upper body, and specifically from a bent over position. So you can use a band or a towel, whatever you have handy. So I'm going to create tension in the cloth I'm going to bend over, maintaining the integrity in my spine, keeping engagement in my hamstrings and glutes. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up towards my hip. Notice, I'm still maintaining the integrity of my shoulder blades. I'm not rowing too high. In my mind, I'm trying to tell myself, pull your elbows to your pockets. And for our last drill, we're going to do another exercise from a horizontal position. This one is going to help you activate and feel those small accessory muscles of our shoulders. Hinging at the hips, I'm going to get my thumbs up towards the sky and we're going to do an arm raise here. So I'm trying to actively squeeze my shoulder blades and see if I can feel my delts, which are that small muscle on the back of the shoulders. So not only do we wanna make sure we're feeling our big muscles work, we even wanna bring attention and awareness to those small supporting muscles as well. Incorporating more pulling into your routine will help you not only get stronger, but it can help with your posture as well.